Hello everybody, welcome in a cabin. Yes, this is my respite point uh, where I stop and I get my team cam and they bring me brand new gear, brand new trolley. Uh, my old trolley, I would say, was really hard to work with him uh, because I had a big sand dunes and, and really heavy terrain, which was really hard to work with, it, uh, with the wheels. This one comes from my old expedition in South America. I use it, I test it. It's a really good, really good old lady. <laughs> then she's gonna come back with me on the terrain the next, the second party of the Gobi. So, so far I've been one and a half months in really deep immersion in the Gobi, which is, I went through so amazing area, I tell you. That goes from dune area, rocky area. I went up as far as 2,200 meters away I get. Huge, huge uh, storm, uh, snowstorm. Then the sandstorm came. And anyway, it was Mongolia. A really hell of a story regarding the weather condition. Was it's been really hard. I was expecting doing 30 kilometers a day. I was going uh, really hard all day walking, and I some days I was going not as far as 15 kilometers, which is which is incredible with for so much effort. So it's been hard. Uh, I expect for the second leg of the Gobi to be as hard as this one, but I've got some good gear and I'm lighter, which is a good news for me. The second part of the Gobi, so I've been in the Gobi for one and a half months so far. I've got another one and a half months to get out of the Gobi that way, through the dunes. So uh, the difference, it's going to be no people at all, no nomads, no herders at all. So it's gonna be wild, means I'm gonna see more wild animals, which has been really, regarding the animals, I've been really lucky because I saw some mufflons, some wild goats, I saw some snakes, I saw uh, some amazing birds, and even some petroglyph on a rock I found on the mountain. So it's been an incredible journey so far, and I'm really looking for the next leg of the Gobi. So, which is I'm living like on, the, on this wide land. I've got my tent, I'm walking every day. Put my tent, live close to the ground, live with the nature. I collect little herbs there and then for, to put on my dinner. And it's a really a simple life way of living where they were living a million years ago, really, moving by myself. It's amazing feeling to go back to this earth and live to this experience so I'm really looking forward for that second leg so I've been resting here in, the, in this area for three days now I've been eating like really good food and I'm ready to set up again and go so uh, the communication system through that area it's really rare which is I don't have any communication with my mobile phone so it's not gonna be possible to send picture no picture no video nothing except I will, I will communicate with my team back to Switzerland with my satellite phone. So uh, keep in touch because it's going to be in one interview and direct from the Gobi once a week. Uh, so with my uh, chief of the, uh, of the expedition, I will talk with him once a week. So that will go on the website straight away. So I tell you, see you soon for new adventure and I'm really looking forward. Bye bye.